Hi folks, welcome to bsbsolutions.com. My name is Sumit and I am VP CRM Solutions with BSP. Recently, I got a requirement from my client that they would like to migrate the data from their existing environment into WAVE by using Informatica Rev. So I decided I should share the same update with you as well. So I'm recording this video for you. So that might help you in migrating data from any existing data set into Salesforce Wave Analytics by using Informatica Rave. As all of you know that adding data set into or creating a new data set into Wave is pretty easy. We can simply select Wave Environment, click on Create and from there, we can choose an option called data set. So I have got a data set and I would like to load that data set. I would like to bring that data set into Wave through Informatica Rave there because Informatica is an ETL tool and there we can perform some data transformation as well. So I click on Informatica Rave. As soon as you click on Informatica Rave, if you will be doing this very first time, it will ask you to register an account and give you a trial account for a couple of days. So let me provide my details. This is because I have been logged out. And let me close it. This is ask this is asking me to log in to Salesforce again because I logged out. I didn't use it for a long time. So as you can see here, it has been redirected to raveappinformatica.cloud.com. So as soon as you logged in into your Informatica Rave, you can see on the left side, you would be able to see that it's a trial account and the trial account, that's the remaining days left for days remaining for expiring the trial account account how much space is allocated to you so 100 100 gb space is allocated to the trial account monthly import limit we have monthly import limit and monthly export limit and there are there you can see there are sample reports so these two sample reports are excluded from the users these are not the report these are the projects which are not designed by us so very first thing we'll be doing we'll be going to create our own project sample project so i just select the existing and delete the existing one i'm going to create a new one so click on new project you can give any name so i write, i give a name as bisp wave test project for whom and description if you want to give click on continue in next step, it will ask you to what could be the data source you would like to use. So in this case, I'm going to use CSV file and because I would like to transform the data as required. Now, the next thing is I click on choose file and from my desktop, I use new sales data set. Click on open and import. So Rave can currently support CSV, XLS6, TXT and JSON. So if you will be bringing data from JSON, we can use Informatica to load the data into Wave with the help of a JSON. Once the data gets loaded into Informatica Rave, it will open that in it will open the same data set and we have an option that we can change their sequence we can change their order edit option is also there we can edit we can rename any specific column delete the blank columns column with one value or any empty rows if we have so data transformation is possible we can resolve duplicates in sheet so when we click on dissolve duplicates in sheet it will automatically find out the duplicate in the sheet and then we can take appropriate action or required action if any duplicate record founds. Click on exit. 
apart from this we have couple of other options available like we can change the case find and replace hide any specific columns or empty columns we can extract the left or right or middle from the cell fill down the values we can split them for example let me show an example for example we have a customer name and i want to like to split this customer name into first name and last name so i select the column click on split and uh, i would like to split the number of columns i want to split in two columns and split on white spaces and when i click on done the output would be something like this you can see we have customer name and very french clay rosendel carlos solitra so it's automatically get uh, it will show you the instant preview and if you want to keep the changes click on done and the changes will get reflect and now we can rename them we can rename the column as first name and last name also we have an undo option undo split so we can click on undo split to revert back to the previous position we can trim white spaces create new type validation can be done other options we used to have we can perform aggregation or unpivot and apply some filters as well and at the same time if you look at this bottom area this would be giving us the sheet overview or the suggested overview for example if i select unit price so it will refresh and numeric distribution will be given to me in same manner if i select customer name so customer name we have 41 records for this particular user at braxton there are 38 record and if i'm interested if i want to filter only for joy smith record or jack o'brien record i click on job jack o'brien and the record will get filtered only for that particular customer who, whose record, whose name i have been selected with so if we want to perform some transformation we can done here let's suppose we have sales and i would like to add a column which will calculate the 10% tax on the sale so i can have a new column so to add a new column i right click on sales and say new formula and formula i can specify so i can write here sales multiply by 20 divided by 100 so you can see i have applied a formula if you want to use any existing formula so we have all the formulas in different formats and we can rename it as tax calculated that's the name of that column and finally click on done so that's how we can transform the data once the transformation is done we would like to load this data into wave analytics salesforce wave analytics and we would like to uh, visualize or do perform the visualization build build dashboards on top of that so we have an option call export i click on export and from here we can export the data directly into tableau online desktop salesforce analytics sso and salesforce analytics So I click on Salesforce Analytics, and uh, we have got two existing connections for Salesforce, so we can use them because I have already configured them. And if you want to have a new connection, click on New Connection and provide the details, the name of the connection, the username, password, and security token. Endpoint URL is not required because based on the details you provide here, it will automatically calculate. It will automatically identify the endpoint URL. if any other endpoint url you want to define you can mention it here i click on cancel and i'm using salesforce wave click on okay so once the export is completed we'll get a message export completed please check data so let's get back to wave analytics i click on data set and you can see a new data set has been loaded just now named as new sales data set csv and we click on it and i would like to check whether this column is available in that 
data set or not so i click on value tables and in value tables i click on and search for text calculated column and that's the column we have available in this data set so that so that's how we can migrate the data from existing data set into wave by using info matrix the date one and once the data which are loaded into wave we can build various lenses and dashboard out of it so to know more about how to build dashboards and lenses you can visit our existing videos so that's all in this video if you have any questions you can write to us on www.bispsolutions.com thanks for watching nice to see you goodbye